Okay, this will be a quick video to show you how to improve this cheap Chinese LED wings which you can buy for like 25 bucks on AliExpress. They work on three AA batteries and they light up when you press this little button and when you press it again they start to blink. But I will remove the blinking feature later to greatly improve overall brightness of the lights. Nobody needs blinking anyway. Oh, and this button also works at the same time. After this improvement this button won't work at all. Start with removing the batteries and with a small flathead screwdriver pry and remove this rubber gasket. Then carefully remove the plastic cover to reach the electronics. Now, here's the positive side of the battery. It goes straight to LEDs. And here's the negative side of the battery. This is the negative lead from LEDs. Start by tuning your soldering iron and removing two wires next to the switch. You can pull the wires to have more freedom with soldering. Separate the wires a little bit and solder one wire to the negative side from the battery. It completely doesn't matter which one you solder here. And it should look like this. Now, to desolder the negative leads from the LEDs, you can pry them with the screwdriver. And now it's just a matter of connecting these two wires together. Cut a little piece of heat shrink tube and put it on the one wire. Solder these wires together and slide the heat shrink tube over it and use a lighter or some kind of heat source to shrink the tube. Pull the excess wires back and you are done here. Put the batteries back just to check if this still works. And now it will only light up when you hold the button. If this is what you want you can completely stop here. Let me show you how these two kinds of buttons work. The first one that they actually used only works when you hold it. It's ok when they used a little chip, but since we eliminate it, now it doesn't sustain the power. The second one that we want to use will complete the circuit when we click it and it stay connected until you press it again. This is the button that we want to use in this case. Ok, so start with removing the protective heat shrink tube from the old switch. You can use helping hands to hold the switch while you desolder the two wires coming to it. You don't need this switch anymore. I cut the small legs from the new switch just to make it smaller but it should still have some kind of legs to solder to it. And now thin the lead and solder one wire to it, it doesn't really matter which one, and then solder the second wire to the second lead. It should look like this.
put the batteries back and check if this works. Now it should light up and stay lit when you press this button and turn off when you press it again. Measure and cut a little piece of heatshrink tube. You can use white heatshrink in this case just to make it blend a little more with the wings while you perform with it. I didn't have a white heatshrink tube big enough to fit the switch, but it's fine with black one though. Use a lighter to shrink the tube and if you want, you can heat the edges and press them together just to make them nice and neat. Just be careful, it's really hot. With a sharp exacto knife, cut the circle around the button Otherwise it won't work, the tube will prevent the button from coming back. And heat up the edges to shrink them nicely. To finish the job, place the plastic part back until it snaps in place. Put the rubber gasket back in place and close the box. The lights will be much brighter, it's really hard to pick it up with a camera, but in person they are twice as bright. And that's it, thank you.